Today for your experiment, you need three cookies of the crisp variety, a toothpick, a Q-tip, and some water. We have a dropper to put our water on. If you just need to drip it on yourself, that's fine too. So our question today is, will a mountain last forever? Remember, your claim is your guess to answer the question. You should be typing in a full sentence. Please pause the video now so you can go write your claim. So today our cookie is representing a mountain or ground and we are going to use three different processes to see how erosion affects our world. So the very first one that we're going to do is rain and rain is represented by our water. So with the water you will drip just like rain drips onto the mountain. So you're going to do this dripping process over your cookie for about two minutes. We will speed up our video so it doesn't take that long for doing it, but our advice to you would be drip it in um, the same place over and over and over again. If you're doing this experiment with us, please get your second cookie and the Q-tip. Okay, for the wind portion of our erosion, you're going to use a Q-tip and you're just going to rub forcefully back and forth for um, two minutes. Hold on to your cookie, it might slide around otherwise. And then just rub, rub, rub as hard as you can for two minutes. So our advice with rubbing the cookie is the same as it was with the dripping of the water. Rub it in the same place over and over and over again. If you're doing this experiment with us, get your third cookie and the toothpick. Finally, our last one is our toothpick. And our toothpick is representing people and animals climbing mountains and building houses on them and how they break apart. So you're going to use your toothpick and just jab into your mountain. And you're going to do that for two minutes. So you can see that our rain has started to break our cookie down, especially in the areas that it has dripped in the most at. And we'll show you an up close picture of it here in just a second. Okay, so here's two minutes worth of dripping and you can see that the cookie has definitely started to break down right there. So as you can see, Miss Johnson has been rubbing back and forth really, really hard for the last two minutes. And here's what we have. And you can see that she has created a valley right there from all that wind rubbing against it. So when wind blows across the land, it blows little tiny bits of rock and sand, which throws it against the mountain, which breaks it apart even more. And you can see we have little bits that have gone all over the place.
So you can see as people and animals climb the mountain, they cause erosion. When people build tunnels through mountains, it causes erosion. So now I want you to go and record your results into the chart. So remember your evidence is all the things you saw in this video. What happened to the cookies? And your reasoning is telling whether or not your claim was true and then saying because and using the evidence from what you learned about the cookies.